There's no, he's just keeping everything tight. If he's up like this, it's going to be hard to get there, right? But he's not doing anything. If he wants to do anything, he's going to have to do some space. He needs some space. I'm waiting for him to push me, because when he pushes me, he himself opens this space. And when, he, and when I feel that push, that's when I drop. And I want to make him, make him do this <coughs> sound when I drop, right? So really, like, drop in there. Get the space immediately, because once you are in that pocket, between this elbow and knee line, once you're there, it's going to be hard to get rid of you, right? So you want to just go as fast as you can, drop yourself there, and get everything tight. It's not always easy to make them turn. I'm going to always keep on walking, keep on driving on my toes, keep on uh, trying to get his hips to turn, so I can bring my wedge and go to side control. That would be the, the idea that I always want to do. But sometimes it doesn't happen like that. Okay? Do the same version. Now we're going to do later from half guard to different places. Okay? I'm here, knee slicing, keep pushing me away. Every time he pushes, remember, I'm not leaning back. I'm letting my hips go back. When he pushes, my hips go back and I drop. Squeeze, pull, squeeze, everything. Stroll, get your leg out, turn here. So now, I want to walk. I want his hip to be upwards, right? He's turned, his hips are now against me. It's not good. I can't bring my wedge in. I try to walk, but it's hard. He's just shrimping, shrimping, shrimping. What I do is it's hard to do this. I step over his legs. Both legs. I use this leg to pull. I cross my ankles, not the triangle. I cross my ankles over his knees and I squeeze my knees together. If he wants to move now. Straight to mouth. Really simple. These two passes, if you know these really well, you don't need much more. It's super simple and effective. It's a whole system, but it's, it's, you can do this almost anywhere, okay? So whenever I feel that I would want to go on here, I want to walk, I want to get my wedge, 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 okay? If I can do that, if these hips are not turning, I can always go to mount. And it's even better, if I can pass straight to mount, always stay, okay? So we're here, in the same space, here, everything inside, and I can't make, I, I can't get the space. It's just turning and turning. I go over, I'm waiting for the right moment, I'm pretty flexible. If you're not flexible, I can take it from anywhere. But if you're not flexible, wait for the right moment. When you see his legs are here, go over, cross your ankles, squeeze everything tight. Okay? If he wants to move now, okay. I have a really good control on his feet. I still have my wedge. But I cannot jump from here. If I try to go too fast like this, I'm gonna lose it. I need to climb like a mountain climber. Like one inch by inch, I'm gonna climb the mountain. So when I when I'm here, I go over. Pull everything tight, knees go together. I climb, I climb, 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 climb. I'm gonna be already attacking. Really simple, really effective. Especially also for every man. Super simple. Okay? Here. Knee slicing. He creates distance. Drop myself down. Pull, squeeze. Crawl, get here. I want to get my side control. I cannot do it. Step over. Everything tight. I bring first one hand, he tries to move. Bring, climb, 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 climb. Now I'm attacking already. It's uh, my easy, I always want to do this. You don't have to attack, you must just come out. Just climb yourself here and get a good mount. Let's do it. One, two, three. 